Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Info Runners podcast. And today we are continuing our fleet combat series. Uh, we talked about fleet combat in general. We then talked about scouting, and now we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is boarding. I'm Dazine was here, and this is Hayes. And today we're going to be talking about the romance that is uh, boarding action, the idea of going into a ship and uh, taking it over from the inside. Now, um, CRG have uh, originally had the idea of being able to have docking collars and dock into uh, ships and then go from ship to ships sort of a way it's sort of like if you, you take up images from the expanse where you uh <laughs> you blow away an airlock and then everyone rushes in in a sort of very uh violent charge that's my idea of boarding actions but more recently cig have moved away from the idea of ships interconnecting and more to the idea that people will eva out from ships and make their way over to an airlock and this has serious implications for the way boarding will proceed because it means you need to disable the ship before you have a chance at trying to crack open the pinata well, the thing is, it's not just the disappearance of all these airlocks. It's also the fact that if let's talk about boarding ships for a second versus drop ships. We have drop ships galore right now. Drop ships are ships that go in. They either go on to like your stations or go down into planets and drop your troops off. And then your troops run into battle or are dropping into the middle of the engagement and go in. Either way, you're landing somewhere near the outside, and your troops have to move in. Think the Hoplite, think the Cutlass. Uh, you can go on and look at the Retaliator. It can be used as a dropship. And even the Prowler, because if you actually look at the image right, that's actually right behind Hayes right now, you see these giant uh, doors which the people come out and EVA on. But the thing with this is it's going to be stationary targets, like Battle on the Ground, or space station, disabled ship, while boarding action is going to be you're legitimately trying to go in there and take a ship in the middle of the battle while things are going on. Not necessarily while things are, well, stationary. No, that's right. Uh, at the end of the day, um, if a ship is moving, um, there's no chance EVAing will ever be a thing. Uh as long as a ship is maintaining a constant speed, um, unless they change the way EVA mechanics go to a more Newtonian style, you will never be able to match speed. Um, at the same time, if it's doing a an arcing loop in a station in one area, it's it's going to be impossible to match it, and without some way to sort of latch onto a ship and make your way to the airlock, boarding will never be a thing as it is now. Um, but I think that's the direction CIG is going towards. Um, at the moment, their target for boarding is pirating. Pirating will be the idea of disabling a ship and then taking its cargo and then sort of leaving, as opposed to the more military style where you want to disable a ship from within in order to, um, as opposed to destroying it first. Well, it makes a um, lot more sense. First. It really does, because you do not want to damage the cargo. Plus two, you want to take whatever vessel. Like a pirate, if I'm wanting to board a convoy, I'm going to hit the convoy with everything I got. But my main focus is going to be distracting all the escorts while my boarding ship goes in there, sends my marines in. My marines overwhelm the vessel. You're not going to blow it up, because there's multiple consequences, which we'll talk about later because of that. But then take that vessel, fly away, and then I can unload the cargo later, scrap down the vessel, and call it a day. Instead of having to unload it. CIG is very much focusing on the idea that pirates will disable ships and then uh, EVA that cargo out from its one ship and then go to their other ship. And so they're, they're not going down the aisle of uh, stealing ships just yet. And so basically boarding will be more of a consequence of after a battle. And this will work for pirating. Um, this is not in anywhere near as useful for a more military, more pure military focus. Um, perhaps that's something they will revisit in the future, but um, 
they're going to have to do some serious sort of work to make that um, viable. And when you have stealth ships such as the Prowler, which was originally concepted before the concept sale as a boarding ship, the idea of taking over entire military vessels before people ever realized it, um, and now it's been turned into a glorified stealth dropship, which is... Uh, I just don't see how that's going to take over, uh, let's say, Idris or a Javelin, which is, frankly, the romance of people have, who have prowlers, <laughs> to be able to take a crack team to take over these sorts of vessels unless they've left, really left it parked in the middle of nowhere and it's not moving. Well, the thing is, for a true boarding ship concept to work, you need to either go more like what the Vandal actually have, which is... A larger ship that sends some sort of pod that either rams through the hull and opens up to let troops in, or one that latches on like a leech, cuts it out with some sort of laser. Uh, you need something like that, or a ship, uh, and you can even do this now with what we got right now, where you have something that actually has some sort of tractor beam that can either help bring the ship in or bring you guys close enough, or grapple. Just imagine a cutlass matching speeds, keyword shooting some sort of grappler over, the, over there, and you have to go across. They don't want this. They've talked about specifically that, well, tractor beams and grapples are a concept, but they would damage both ships. But I think if they did it right, you can make it where if you do it skillfully, you're not going to cause any damage. And enough of a tolerance that it's reasonable that you could do this, but also reasonable that someone else can escape while you're doing this. Well, I think they should have the tools there for people to attempt boarding, whether that be through a, maybe a personal grapple that allows them to reel themselves into the ship and secure themselves on the hull while they're close enough to the door to try to sort of hack it or gain entry. Um, another one would be uh, converting escape pods into sort of a boarding pods with the idea that you would shoot them out and they would latch onto a hull, whether they would then dig through the hull and force entry or or perhaps um, allow the person on the pod to then perhaps make their way across the hull in an attached manner through, um, I don't know, ropes or grapples to then try and force entry into the exit. At the end of the day, they're going to need some sort of tool because EVAing is uh, just not going to be able to cut it. Um, what CAG do to try to... Uh, approach this problem to um, solve this it will be interesting but I think this is something they will look at much later because it's I don't think it's core to the primary professions right at the moment but I do think there's enough interest there um, the whole romance of boarding of being able to take over a ship um, without forcing it um, and disabling it it will be something that many people have their hearts glued to well it's not just the core profession of pirating or military think bounty hunter you want to get your one single target go in and extracting they need they really need this because this is also how you have to have some sort of mechanic for some sort of ship infiltration because it'll be key to roles like bounty hunters who want to pull someone out so you don't want to just you don't want to have to do a full battle. You want to be sneak in, be able to pull the guy out, extract him, or for info runners or some of those type of people who want to get a single item or hard drive or data disk. You don't want to have to have an entire fleet to do that. You don't want to have to risk that. Well, a full engagement just to get one guy out or one piece of information, or even rescue your own captives. Imagine you had a battle or one of your mining ops got uh, wrecked and you need to rescue someone. You don't want to have to have an entire battle to do that. You want to be able to send a, a group in and bring them out. So, what do you guys think? Are we right? Are we wrong? Uh, what's going on? Put any questions you have in the box down below. We like to read all the responses, and we try to reply to as many as we can. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, see you around.